Welcome to HeroQuest fans. Welcome Geek on Giddy, Wardicon, and Bohemius is with us tonight as the wizard and also Jacer. Welcome guys. Shout out to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for the music. Check him out on YouTube as usual. We're playing Rise of the Dread Moon tonight. And we got our virtual character sheets. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Uh, Jacer has his own uh, character sheet there. Mighty Dwarf. Excellent. Okay, well, when we last left our heroes, they were proceeding apace in this um, Tunnels of a Secret Cadre. And it looks like those... Uh, I don't think those hidden heirlooms of um, the Elven people had been found. Um, they do have two lunar charms. And some reputation tokens. Now there was this group of um, monsters that were discovered here. The Alchemist Bench Room. A couple of cultists. Spectre. An assassin who's taken one damage. Chaos Warrior. We've got the Dwarf here, the Striker has taken one body point of damage, and the Arbalist is here. Wizard is in the central room. Barbarian and Monk are over here, having just cleared out this room. All right, so any questions about anything so far? Yes. Uh, could you uh, uh, read again the uh, what we have to do in this quest? Ah, yes, of course. Thank you. The mysterious stranger has been aiding you on these perilous undertakings and reveals himself to be a Thrain. Advisor to Queen Torelia and member of the Cadre of the Raven's Vale. A secret order dedicated to protecting the royal family of Elthorn. Ithraean informs you that the Temple of the Moon holds many of Elthorn's historical relics, including the sacred lunar charms, which I foresee will be of great importance in our coming trials. Zargon's agents have barricaded the temple in anticipation of the impending Dread Moon. You must find another entrance to the temple located amidst these ancient halls. And then there was that um, clue that he gave you. The gaze of the queen yes. can pass through stone to see what she wants to find, but only with the blessings of the moon. Yeah, now we... Uh, so technically you only have the to find... The wizard and the monk got the, uh, the amulet, and we are searching uh, everywhere <laughs> for secret doors. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, technically, all you have to do is uh, find the stairs and leave, but does that mean that you oh, found everything? Well, well, the, yeah. If there's a uh, uh, nail room here, but it, is, uh, it could be like a powerful item that we cannot miss. Yeah. So you've got a barricade here, barricade there. 
remember you started to the south in this door, came through here, this barricade there on either side. I think the wizard had just searched this room. Yeah, it's like you're making. I uh, even backtrack and to search all the rooms already. So exhaustive searches. I I search everywhere. <laughs> well, if that's what you believe, uh, I can respect your belief. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't tell me they have to go back again. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I've keeping track of your searches, and yes, you have searched everything up up to this point, at least. Yeah. Okay, but no more no more clues. <laughs> That's what I got. Oh, and I got to double check what bad guy cards I've got. But while I'm doing that, you guys um, get situated. Hey, Xerxes, you're playing Rise of the Dread Moon. Welcome to Hero Quest fans. I'm assuming Jacer is going to take control of the other, of the dwarf and the monk. And I don't think we have Ribby for the barbarian or whoever else wants to take control. I can't pick up the barbarian until the Ribby is here. So. Okay. The Ribby, the Ribbonator. Yeah, after our talk last time, I had to pick up a copy of uh, Bloodsport and watch it again for the first time in a, in a long time. <laughs> what a funny movie. Let's see. Ah, bonus equipment. Excellent. Thank you, Wardicon. I'll draw that in just a second here. Okay, we got a torch. Who wants the torch? I love to have the torch, but I got really. Oh, actually, I got I still have one left. So no, give it to. Oh yeah. Give it to the barbarian. I forgot you've got a lit torch, so you shouldn't have any more hazards for the uh, for the wizard, right? And actually, I lit the torch the previous quest. So, oh, so that it's good. gone. I, I had two oh, yeah. torches. One I used it, and the other one is still uh, intact. Uh, thank you for that correction. Okay. So this this one has not yet been used. So the barbarian gets the second torch. All right. The barbarian already got a torch. Well, it, sorry. It doesn't matter to I, me. I. Uh, let's see. Who else has one? The dwarf does not. I have to get the monk. Give it to the dwarf. Then. Does not. Okay. The dwarf gets a torch. Let me just update this here. Dwarf and Monk, yes. Okay, Jay, sir. I'm guessing he must be not able to speak on the microphone at the moment. Well, that's okay. If you guys are ready, we can we can go ahead and start. Ready. All right. Okay, so we begin with the wizard. 
I it is our turn. I didn't. Oh, oh no! I <laughs> sorry, my bad. I, I guess it is Zargon's turn we left off on, so I'm yeah. deciding what to do. Whoops. Okay. Let me just see here. Grab my cards anyway. Okay, those are good guy cards there. So I'm supposed to have five threat cards. Ah, here we go. That's a good one. Well, this looks like I have six, actually. Okay, sorry about that delay. All right, so I've got monsters. I can do stuff. I'm going to say... We're going to use Overwhelming Fear on the Dwarf. Or no, it's not on the hero. It's on the monster. Okay, so Overwhelming Fear will be on the... on the specter. So to attack the specter, you have to roll equal to or less than your mind points or be the recipient of a courage spell to be able to attack that monster. So let's put that there as a reminder. So that and I'm also going to use Chaotic Defense, also on the Spectre, so that means it rolls blue dice for defense. Okay, now I get to attack. Checking here. Maybe sell it later for more gold, says Mordecai. Xerxes says, ready to bring the monsters. I'm situated. <laughs> okay, so the assassin. It's tempting to bring that assassin in. Assassin's almost dead, though. Let's have the specter... Let's see, the Spectre can just move out of there, actually. We have eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, front of the door. And it's going to attack the monk with Channel Dread. Four. Okay, this time I'm prepared. So four means hero loses one body point uh, against the monk. I'll go with twisting turret. Ah, dodged it. Okay. All right. So no damage in that case. All 
All right, then the Yeah, we'll have the cultist move one, two, and cast dread lights on the dwarf. At once or on a future, yeah, turn. Let's see. Roll one red die. A five or six. The spell is broken. So go ahead, Jaser. If not, then the monsters get... Oh, he nullified it. Ching. Okay, no no effect. All right, the other one, let's see. Oh, well, let's... Yeah, let's move the assassin forward. Okay, assassin attacks the dwarf with five... They get an attack on a uh, diagonal, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think they all can, except for the Chaos Warrior. Oh, <laughs> you're giving me a suggestion. All right. Good point. He's an honorable man. He wants to fight. Okay. All right. Attack you with five dice there. One skull. I don't remember if he had his tower shield or not. Well, you put it down that he did, so. Yeah, I think I just had just enough to go there with the crossbow or the long sword. That's why I was standing in the door. Trying to tank it. But, uh, does just, it work? Just enough to block it, yep. Oh, one. <laughs> All right, I'll move the Celtist here. One. Yeah, he'll just do. Uh... Oh, yeah, I could try it again. Okay. Ah, sound, sound alerts are working. Skill card for hero. All right, let's see what it was. Thanks, Wordicon, for anyone he says. Alertness. So it allows you to automatically ignore a trap, ambush, wandering monster, or event. Who want who should have it, guys? Nobody? Uh, who can get it? Anyone? Yeah. I'll take it. Okay. And should it go to the wizard or to the barbarian? Uh, to the wizard. Okay. Let's see. Alertness. Very good. Okay. So we'll do... Um, we'll try once again uh, dread lights against the dwarf. So roll your five or six, if you can. Ah, see that the sound effects for sound alerts aren't working. That's strange. Well, only a two that time. Okay. Oh yeah, and I should use this up. Okay, so Dread Lights is in effect. So that means I can attack Pull an extra die. Yeah, yep. attack him with five dice for the Chaos Warrior. Four skulls. All 
Okay. Or shields. Yep. Blocked wow. it all. What's your wrestling move going to be? Uh, start started off with the stunner through the door. Okay. So you're going to say shooting star press. It's like, oh man. Okay. Okay. It's one damage. Darn. Okay, I think that's uh, that's it for me. So, wizard. <laughs> so so far, you've used up ball of flame, genie, courage, and heal body. Nine. Um, going in the direction uh, of the monk. One, two, three. Yeah, just uh, outside the door. Behind the monk. Okay. And uh, can I do anything? Else? Well, search for search for secret doors. Secret door is found. The monk didn't search this corridor already. I was just saying because I have nothing to do. <laughs> right behind you, in fact. Uh, yeah. So I can even open it if I want to. Actually, do a couple of calculations here. Yeah, let's open it. Okay. I guess you like ogres. <laughs> what? <laughs> I say that out loud. Okay, so you open the door, revealing the entire room, and you see a closed door. No ogres. <laughs> no monsters? No monsters. Okay. I'm sure that's so, no traps either, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, striker. Can I see the striker, please? Yes, boss. Thank you. The striker cannot maneuver this around here, so it's a it's going it's going in the direction of the uh, of the wizard. Okay. Okay, your turn, Tracer. Uh, I'm going to attack the... Do your dreadlights roll first, probably? Yes, I'm going to attack the assassin. Gonna assassinate the With assassin. With the long sword. Uh, so dreadlights are still active. All right. Okay. All right, so you're attacking the assassin with uh, long sword. Yes. You missed. All right. Um. Yes, I'll uh, have the uh, Arbalist move. Uh, um, towards the wizard. As close as you can get. All right, and then... Go with the monk. Okay, 
So go up to the side of the right side of the specter there, and I'll use a uh, strength of mountain. All right. Or one. Oh, uh, let's see. Because only the black ones count. Yeah. Can you roll extra dice to defend. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. With the overwhelming fear. Let's see. Roll one die to see if you get equal or less than your mind points, which would be three. So if you roll one, two, or three, you can attack him. Or wait a minute. No, one, two, three, or four. Because he has four mind points. Okay, so he got a five, so he's not able to attack. So I wasn't even able to attack, so I guess I don't use my technique or yeah. nothing then. Yeah, technique is not used up. Okay. So I don't have to defend. Yeah, sorry, I'll try to remember that next time. Uh, okay. I thought he rolled extra defend dice or something. Well, I would roll blue dice for defense. But yeah, everybody who wants to try to attack the Spectre has to roll equal to or less than their own mind points on a red die. Okay. Let's see. Uh, How long does it last? Oh, okay, so it's until my next turn. All right. Oh, yes. Um, Boomimus is controlling the barbarian. Uh, is the where's the glaive? Uh, he's dead. Oh, they're dead. Okay, then I'm good. <laughs> barbarian, move. He's gone to the halls of Endos. He's going in the direction of the uh, dwarf to help him. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. That is what he can do. Do you, do, the barbarian, does the barbarian have a, like, um, uh, a portion of speed of some kind? Nope, doesn't look like it. No, uh, Bonus sorry, search. short. <laughs> he has got a bonus treasure search. Thanks, Wardicon. Yeah, it looks like the, okay. the sound alerts in Twitch don't work, but when you purchase stuff, it still plays the sound. So I'm not sure why that is. And, uh, that's nice. Yeah, so it's half halfway there. <laughs> Living on a prayer. All right. Okay, uh, your turn, Sergeant. All right. Thought you'd never, never get there. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so Dreadlights is still in effect on the Dwarf, so we will aim our attacks against him. The Assassin attacks with six. Four Skulls. and takes three damage. Oops, can't go to negative one. All right, I'll drink one of my plus fours. Okay. Okay. He lives. He's got two of those left.
All right, the Chaos Warrior is going to attack with five. Four skulls. <laughs> John Bond, Kurgan, yeah. Okay, block two of them. Two hits. All right, and this, um, I think he's still got it left. Uh, let's see, the cultist is going to move one, two, and this other cultist is going to use Channel Dread against the dwarf. So he gets plus one. Five, it's six. Okay, so he takes two damage. I'm going to use my magic resist for damage. Ah, okay. So he does not take that damage. Excellent. Good use of that potion. Okay. Let's see what else do I have here? tricks up my sleeve Let's see do I attack him and do have a chance of not doing any damage or doing up to three or do I just use the spell and have almost guaranteed two hmm. Let's see the wizard Is it four it's like having a cable again yeah all those channels and still nothing on nothing good on uh, let's see, Monk is defending with four, three, four. Yeah, because I've allowed him to use the bracers. I'm going to use Channel Dread against him. Ah, utterly failed. Okay. Oh, and if I move, he's going to get his powers back. Eh. That's okay. Well, let's see. He's got... Well... It's not much... Eh. Say one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll just do that. Good enough. Okay, heroes. Um, to use a uh, fire of wrath. The ghost on the specter. All right. So I gotta roll one to see if I avoid the damage. Oh, oh, nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> ah. I mean, it doesn't say uh, you need it for magic, so I'm inclined to just let it let it go through. Need what for magic? Oh, it says to attack uh, the monster with the overwhelming fear. Uh, well, you said that ended on his turn anyway. It was only for one turn. Yeah. Oh, good point. So it wouldn't matter. Okay, so I and, uh, four left. And I was going to say, is if he rolls a d6, he's guaranteed to roll his mind points or less anyway, because he's the wizard. He's fearless. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. With the, uh, that's, a, that's a fair point as well. <laughs> yeah, the wizard also can resist the mind attack easier. Yeah. 
they will do the mind test easier. I'm going to enter inside the room with the uh, with the monk, two squares, and uh, stay, stay put. Okay. The uh, oh, the swordsman follow the uh, the wizard. Yes, just uh, enter inside the room. Yeah, source many uh, striker. Your turn, uh, Jacer. Right. I like that. The fearless wizard. It's like the fearless vampire uh, killer. Broke dead. Red lights. Yeah. You popped the red uh, balloon. We'll attack the assassin again right. one yeah he doesn't get a defense bonus just an attack and that's gone too oh that's a hit and I think yep he's only got two body points got him I'll take one step to the left to jump to the left Uh, the crossbow will go four spaces to the left. And try to cover both the doorways. Um, because the monk doesn't see anybody, I reset and I'll use speak with stone to check for traps and secret doors. Traps and secret doors. All right, you find uh, 500 gold coins. Uh, traps and secret doors. Uh oh, do I find it? <laughs> okay, you okay. You, you find 500 <laughs> 500 gold coins, uh, and let's see. No secret door. Nope, you do find a secret door. What am I saying? Right there. But no traps. Yeah, I guess that was there hidden okay <laughs> 98 balloons to go I see what you did there foobar okay and the barbarian money's the worst trap Bohemius, what do you think? Um, sorry, I totally forget. I was the barbarian. Um, yeah, yeah uh, just put me in front of the door, two squares, and I will attack this Chaos Warrior. Right. How many black dice? Uh, let me check here. Well, let's see. You can either use the Bastard Sword for three black dice. You can use the Great Sword for two black and two white. Bastard Sword. Okay, so three, three black. Okay, one. one. <laughs> oh, three black dice. Or, I mean, three black shields for your black guy. Ouch. And I get a wrestling move. All right. He's going to rake the eyes. Ah, I can't believe it. 
faster. All right, one point of damage. Okay. My turn. Oh, yeah, this is gone. And that's it. Your turn. All right, Chaos Warrior is going to attack with his, just his usual four against the Barbarian. Two skulls. I rolled four for defense. Uh, or less. Four. Let's see. Two, okay. three, four. Yeah, because you've got bracers and a helmet. Oh wait, wait, wait! Hold well, on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, I guess you could you could wear chainmail instead of bracers with the same the same amount. Yes. Yeah. So four. So, <laughs> well, the, my revenge is there. I just throw three shields. Yep. So no damage and a wrestling move. Big card. Card. The Razor's Edge. All right. Ooh, ah. Boom. Don't mess with the bad guy. Okay, so he's got one body point left. Yikes. Um. <laughs> I guess these guys aren't much much use. Uh, he's going to step back and say, fine, you think you can do better? Go for it. All right, so this one steps forward and attacks the Barbarian with two. Glorified Skeleton. Ah, two skulls. Not too shabby. Locked them both. Locked. Yep. All right, this one is going to go behind him. All right, heroes. Well, we know that there's a special treasure, so I'm going to search for treasure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have found a spell scroll, which is an artifact. This is the spell scroll pass through rock. Pass through rock. Okay. Okay. Last time they give us a riddle, it was the uh, the air spell was involved. They give us a spell scroll of air. This time there's a riddle that involves pass through rock, and there's a, a scroll for the pass through rock. So interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, that that the clue was to pass through rock and to yeah. But where? <laughs> Somewhere okay. the green gazes. Yeah, we said we're. I don't know if we are. Sir, we are finding these secret passages because we got well, the. Uh, you guys think about it. I'll be. I'll be uh, right back. You think about it. I'm. I'm thinking about it because until now the we I found the secret passage. I had the amulet. You had the amulet. And we find the secret passage. They they look connected. I don't I don't know. Let's see where. Maybe, all I can think of is either the, a throne or a mirror. I'm I can't think of anything else that she would look at. Like if she's sitting on a throne, like what she would see. 
Unless there's something for, like I said, a window or something. And the only other thing I could think of was a mirror. Uh, book. Oh, it could I be a know. book. Let's see. <laughs> Should I open this door, by the way? I search for treasure, I can open the door and move. Yeah, do... I guess do that secret door right there. Yeah, the, this one in the green... The right, I'm back. Go toward the green room. I heard nothing. So the wizard, after searching for treasure, he moves close to the secret door. Uh, we just discover, yes, and opens it. Okay. All right, you open the door. Yeah, but the, you see the. the no. All right, the room just, is uh, the room is revealed, and inside you see. There's a book there. <laughs> we were talking about the book. The, book uh, the, the secret door is exactly in front of it. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should read the book. <laughs> there's the tomb. And there's also a number of monsters in the room as well. Let's see. How can he be there? Oh, yeah. All right, looks like some fiery skeletons and fiery zombies who were once elves. Ooh. Okay. Come off the here. Enter there. And, um, could you? I remember me if uh, the um, striker still has a, a potion of some kind, okay. or used it. I don't remember. I think he does. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's the only one that still does. I know mine used the restoration already. Uh, yes, he has a plus two. So he enters inside the the room. One, two, three. And go south to the first uh, zombie there and attack. If it doesn't encounter a, a trap, I mean, no traps. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, let me just uh, do the roll here. Hold on. These are for the skeletons. These are for the mummies. Or I mean mummies, uh, zombie. Get okay. The game there. <laughs> Just kidding. So the one I'm attacking is an elite, yes. right? Yes. Suspense again. Four, Four skulls. skulls. Well, I think you, I think you got him, because he's only got uh, three. Let's do a token roll. Yeah. Dusty. All right, he dies in a burst of flame. Ah. Go, day, sir. All right. First things, long sword to from the dwarf to the uh, skeletal imposter there. <laughs> One. No damage. All right. Uh... Hey, no block eleven thirty eight. Welcome. All right, the crossbowman moves six. 
just inside that secret door there and shoots the other zombie. All right, taking the shot. One skull. Or one. Locked. All right. Uh... Monk goes diagonal of the crossbowman, uses his air technique to attack both of them guys. Okay, I'm sorry, where in relation to the crossbowman? Diagonal so that he can hit both the skeletons ah. with his ah. air attack. Okay. These slick new cards, it's a little hard to handle them. And I got one for each. I got one for each of you. Okay. One knuckle sandwich each. Well, they don't have much meat on their bones, so. Alright, left one first. Blocked. Right one. Ah, smarter than the average uh, bonehead. All of those guys are pretty tough. Yep. Well, the one that died just didn't have enough to block. <laughs> yeah. The elite one was the one that died first. Yeah. And that's going like said, only because he didn't have enough dice. Yep. Uh, so that takes us to the barbarian. All right. The mighty Bohemius. Yeah. The... Uh, the barbarian is attacking again. The uh, Grom blood this time the uh, hmm. Fubar says, "Looks like they needed extra mustard on that knuckle sandwich." He's only too happy to oblige. Just needed a police call. Strength behind that punch. <laughs> yeah, I think you got him. Token roll for fun. Uh, the last one got him. He blocked nice. the first one. He smiled out of surprise. He blocked the second one. He hey. smiled again. The third one, yeah. he had no more nope. hands. <laughs> Can't block it with his face. The Barbarian step, steps in. One's clear. Alright. Man, that's it. Your turn. He does the Chong Li thing to the <laughs> to the Chaos Warrior. First I break your friend, then I break you. Alright. Okay. Well, with that, let's see. Chaos Warrior is going to attack. Swing at the Barbarian, two skulls. Ching, but it hit. One damage. All right. And that cultist is going to run up and try to sock him in the face. It's like more dangerous to him than it is to you. <laughs> One skull. No, the little sucker punch. Yeah, that scene from Naked Gun, exactly. Yeah, Priscilla Presley, rest in peace. And Leslie Nielsen, rest in peace. Great movie. I think the first one's the best. Second one's pretty good. Third one isn't as funny, but yeah, you might as well watch it. If you like that kind of stuff. Block. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, hmm. Oh, I should have moved the cast warrior. Oh, well. Okay, so back to the fiery creatures. So uh, the skeleton is going to use, let's see, what does he got? Okay, it's going to use fire of wrath on the monk. Or no, 
I'm not sure why I rolled for you, but okay, <laughs> you you can go ahead and roll. I don't accept your four, and I try to roll something <laughs> I better. Do my own. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I must be tired already. This this is too bad. I had a big. That's all right. I, I rolled the same thing. Um, <laughs> ah, Ribby came through. He saved saved my honor there. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you take one damage. I'll use twisting turn. All right. All right. He spun around and uh, all his sweat put out the flames. Okay. So that was that one. So the the left one is going to attack him with fire wrath as well. So go ahead. You, I'll let you roll correctly this time. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden when monsters have magic, it's like, whoa, what do I do? All right. I, I failed that one. Now you Down to damage. three. Yep. Okay. Uh, I gladly take the hit so my crosswoman does not. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this this zombie. Well, I guess I can hit him from here. Yeah, the zombie is going to shoot the uh, striker with ball of flame. Would you guys say that post-human saga would be a choice? Bar. DJ Sacrosanct, uh, so post-human saga, not familiar with it. For so right, so this time it's uh, Bohemia, you're attacking the striker, so Bohemius has to roll 2d6? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I rolled. And, uh... Okay, so it got one a 5 pass. and a 2. Okay, so he takes 1 damage. Uh... Yeah. All right, so he's dead unless he can use that potion. I'll use the potion. All right, he comes back. Which one was? Full strength. One by one. Full uh, no, I was a two. one. So he's up to two. Yeah, because it was a two, two. body point okay. potion. Yeah, I was going to say, normally those potions of warmth are good choices for the mercs, but uh, a two potion is good as well. Okay, so none of the mercs have potions left that is correct all right all right that zombie is going to move back one square and looks like that's heroes heroes turn again Hmm. So, um, with the wizards, I'm going to inspect the table. All right. You're going to inspect the table. All right. It appears to be a sorcerer's table. Okay. No clue. No, nothing written on the book. Nope. Other than the uh, no. that uh, Pastor Rock spell uh, scroll, there doesn't seem to be any other clues there. Okay. Uh, let's see. The striker. Striker is moving. Uh, goes to the. Uh, what do we have what? to do with the lunar charm and the sorcery tables? Well, if uh, if you use a... Oh, yeah, good question. Yeah, so there's a general rule across the board that when you have a uh, sorcerer's table and you have a lunar charm, you can cash in the lunar charm to restore one body point and one mind point. And if you're the elf, you can do it for free. So I think okay. it, it does it immediately. It doesn't give you a potion that you can use later it's just like an immediate one-time thing and, and does that mean that you have to give up the charm or yes. just if you have the charm okay let me double check i was thinking you you use it up but let me let me make sure because that that is cool if you can pass uh if you can keep it 
the charm. Okay. Okay, so the table represents one of the many shrines to the moon that the elves maintain. Restore one lost body point and one lost mind point if they search a room that contains sorcerer's table. You know, it doesn't say you lose the lunar charm. It just says if you have it. And you search that room. Yeah, if you Is have that it. Yep. A card like this deserve a... Uh, to well, I mean, an item yeah. like this deserve a card. <laughs> Fubar, Fubar says I would assume it's consumable. Yeah, well, see, that's what I thought, too, but it doesn't actually say that now that I think about it. Well, since it. you can only search each room once, it would just let you use it once per quest if you got every hero a lunar charm, right? Yeah, because it's, it's not separate yeah. from your normal search. It's the search. But if you really so wanted it, I didn't, so, I didn't tell you. So he, so he would get a body point and a mind point because he searched that room for treasure. Oh, just automatically? When he got, when he got well, the scroll. Yeah, because it doesn't deny you what, what what else you would find. That's a fair point. Okay. Is it kind of an, the same interaction I can do on the uh, alchemy table to craft something? Uh, yeah, you could try to restore one well, of your... Well, but... Okay. My... Oh, but uh, yeah, I, I know. But because there was a note, I'm going to say in this case, no. If there was no note, I'd let you do that as a consolation. But I will give you that uh, body point uh, back. No, no, but no, uh, sorry, I, I didn't explain correctly. What I meant is, uh, does the the interaction is described exactly like the uh, uh, my interaction with the um, with the alchemist bench? Yeah, uh, I well, mean, doesn't require an action. Uh, it's just uh, it's just an interaction. Well, the way I treated it was it's uh, it's an action, and they're treating it as okay. an action as well. The thing that maybe you're thinking okay, of because is the, if it's a, if your own bro, yeah, well, I don't want to confuse the own bro with the rules of the uh, I know of the I'm, game. I don't want because I'm using them both. So yeah, so my my mm -hmm. home, my homebrew was to say if there was no note, if there's just a piece of furniture and nothing special about it i would let you decide do you want to search for treasure like get a card or get uh, a spell back and if there you, you had, go if is you had what all i your, wanted to know and if you had all your spells back already you could get like a spell scroll a random spell scroll. perfect yeah and then with the alchemist Thank bench the yeah with the alchemist bench if there was no note you would get a potion you could draw a potion but now what doesn't require an action is if you're up against the uh, alchemist bench as the wizard you can you can cash in those uh reagents as many of them as you have yes for free yeah. so yeah i know we're mixing uh two different role things but uh i yeah, it just gives you the maximum i guess benefit of it so yeah but your lunar charms are oh. intact so there's still two of them in the party yes yeah, so has the other one. So maybe I could search that room for treasure after I get in there and I can get a body point back. <laughs> yeah, you certainly could. Yeah, it's the so reputation tokens that you that you cash in. Oh. Okay. All right. Good. So the, um, after the wizard, the wizard doesn't move. The um, the striker. He's going to attack the uh, the zombie in the corner. All right. Do your worst. Wow. Wow. That was pretty good. <laughs> Oops, it would help if I rolled on the board. Okay. Oh, too bad I wasn't a hero. He was up in a gout of flame. I like the special effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, best I can do for now. Actually, it kind of makes me think of the Let fire from the first Mortal Kombat when, you, you know, Scorpion does the fatality. 
Oh. Is that a, a Reaper token? Yeah, it is. It is. Yes. Okay. It's not quite the same color, but it's pretty close. Oh, it's fine. It's beautiful. Yes. Uh, go, uh, Jacer. The dwarf will step one space to the right and attack with the longsword diagonally through the door. All right. And two skulls. Saying there's a chance. Oh, he blocked one, but he got hit by the other. Uh, uh. All right, and then... Just roll some movement here. Three spaces. I'll... Move to the Chaos Warriors right. The crossbowmen will shoot the uh, skeleton. Two. Mm. Wasn't a hero. Uh. Got him. The crossbowmen will move two spaces to go to the left of the wizard. All right, only one tomb guardian left. Um, the monk will take one step forward and use strength of mountain on that guy. Uh. Oh. To use it up already? Uh, no. Because when I stepped in there, I used the air one. The last time I used earth was in the other room with speak to stone. And that's when I found the secret door. So there was one turn in between. Okay. Fine. There you go. would be nice if I did have it used up because then I could go right to fire. <laughs> True. Uh, oh, wrestling move. And one. I think you're going to get him no matter what. Yeah. All right. What do you want to use? Uh, let, let's do a tombstone into the casket. Tombstone into the tombstone. All right. Basket match. Yep. <laughs> You're finished. <laughs> All right. The uh, the striker opens up the lid and you grab him. Ah. There you go. Rest in peace. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, I guess the barbarian can try to put the chaos warrior through that table over there, and <laughs> we'll have a great <laughs> royal rumble. Yep. And tease everybody to get the pay per view. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Just in case anybody was wondering, it's like, have a pay-per-view. <laughs> no. It's still going to be free. Okay. You could do a pay-per-view, but you, have, you just do it so that you got a ticket with the, the channel points. Hmm. I'll have to think about, think about that carefully. <laughs> like members as long as you don't make it a super high number, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it could... Yeah. Okay, anyway... I could call it a pay-per-view. It's a we're giving away pay-per-view for free. It's gonna be terrible for our budget. Okay. Um, all right. So that was that move, and now the barbarian. Uh, 
Barbadian attacks. All right. A panic basket. <laughs> Interesting. That bastard sword. Why so slow? Uh, Ruby, calls. Ruby was messing with the code. Just kidding. Okay. Cha Ching! No damage. Hmm. Uh. Is that... No. He doesn't move. He stay there. Is the bastard sword two-handed? No. So he can use the shield with it and roll five dice for defense, right? If he has a shield. He better... Does I gave he him a shield. have a shield? Oh, yeah, he, he nice. should have a regular shield, because I, I only have the tower shield. So we equip it. Ah, okay. Shield. Yeah, I think I erased it and I didn't write it on there, so... Add the shield, so he would have five. Just evaporated. Pay-per-view could just be your marathon for subs. Well, yeah, that that makes a certain amount of sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they always say it's a subscription or whatever. Yeah. Or they used to when you did it. Yeah. Because people can have a free subscription using their Amazon that they already paid for. But if they want to, they could gift one or buy one. Yeah, it's it's all good. I don't know. I kind of like the follows better, but I know that, you know, I get well, a, then, paid oh, a little bit. Well, do it for, for followers. Time. Yeah, followers uh, stream. One thing, though, I, I always forget, though. If you, if you have a Twitch account, but you haven't followed, do you get any channel points, or do you only get it if you follow? I guess you guys don't uh, know. It's been too long. I want to say you still get points, but I want to say when you, you get more. follow, you get like 300 points right away, or 500 points. Yeah, You get a whole bunch of points all at once. And if you subscribe, you get a multiplier. Okay. Yeah, I was just thinking if if I was remembering those tiers right, because I was telling people, oh, you don't have to, you don't have to support me. You can just try it out and see if you like it, <laughs> as opposed to, oh no, you have to commit somehow. I mean, you could always unfollow if you don't like it. Be like, nah, I don't want to follow this guy. I don't want to get uh, reminded or whatever. But yeah, could you unfollow and then follow to get like your points reset? <laughs> is that a, is that a cheat? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not advising people do that, but, I mean, that's that's on Twitch. That's not on me. Okay. I, I, I guess it would be beneficial if you didn't have a lot of channel points. Yeah. But if yeah. you had a lot of channel points, and then you unsubscribed, subscribed again, and then you got 300 bonus points or whatever it is, you'd be like, well, I just lost, like, thousands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that. Count Cogbox has cashed in a mummy. Nice. Are you saying the flaming skeleton just turned into a mummy? <laughs> I don't know. Those, those mummies better be careful around those flames. Unless they got soggy bandages. Okay, is it? It's my turn now? Yes, it is. All right, just in time. Um, yeah, I believe so. He Point. equipped a shield, though. Yeah, every five or ten minutes. Yeah, he equipped a shield. Okay. So, yes, uh, the lid is suddenly uh, flies off. And instead of the flaming wreck of that skeleton, there is a mummy. Jumps out. To attack the striker. Ooh, looks like that's not all. Chaos Warrior. All right, one skull. Striker. You're defending with five. Let's 
Ching, no damage. Let's strike her. Tough guy. Okay. Um, all right. That cast warrior is going to attack the dwarf. But before that happens, he suddenly like his head starts to like swell and his body starts to inflate like some cartoon thing. And a second cast warrior splits out <laughs> of his body. Ah, <laughs> what? Okay. Oh. Those gifts. <laughs> All right. So the oh my God, he's he's a blue order no. now. All right. The uh, <laughs> it's okay. a pink order. He said is pretty. They look blue like blue little figures, red <laughs> horror. But yes. <laughs> All right. The uh, he attacks the first one. Attacks the dwarf. Or All right. I, go for it. Or did splitting I, man. Or did I already do that? Let's see. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Got to keep track. Put in a big, big head model. Yeah, well, you know, once you defeated all the all the NBA teams, everybody gets big head mode, or like in Gauntlet. Okay, what does uh, what does footwork do? Ah, footwork. Uh, it makes you difficult to strike. Roll two extra defend dice until the end of the turn. I'd say until your next turn. Love the rhetoric. Uh, Something I'll to save know, it for now. To do. Right. Okay, three skulls. Oh, I guess maybe I should have used it. Yep. All right. Uh, one, I take two hits. I'm back down. I'm gonna have to drink the. Another plus four. Okay, so you're down, down to down one the of one plus four potion, and I still have a superior restoration. But hopefully, I don't have to use that unless there's emergencies. All right, an abomination appears. Well, they're not going to let you rest, except in pieces. All right. <laughs> and a bonus monster for Zargon. Thank you, Dark Forces. Oh, it's 14. Uh, it's a 13. I can't roll a, a d13. Hold on, I'll be right back. You forgot the exclamation mark. He just went to the back room to find the exclamation mark. <laughs> he ran out. <laughs> he didn't give the goblins enough gold, so now they're stealing his keys. <laughs> like, I need that one. <laughs> See, they're sending an exclamation mark from, from the chat.
Sorry, Bohemius. I was muted there. <laughs> oh, sis, you're missing an exclamation mark. Yellow They're card. sending you some from the chat. Yeah, I got it. It's nice. It's a yellow card. That's that's a warning, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so your turn now. My turn. Yes. What can I do? Uh... What? There's nothing I can do to to that mummy. So I'll, uh, I'll attack directly with the, uh, the striker. Okay. Once call. Black shield. Blocked it. Striker moves out of the row. One, two, three, four. No, I cannot because I'm blocking the door. So I just move uh, far away from the mummy and go on the opposite corner. If you can, one, two, three, four. One more to the north there. Okay, Jay, sir. Your turn. Do your worst. All right, I'll attack the Chaos Warrior. Uh, one second. Sorry. Um, you... Oh, because you decided. Never mind. Go ahead. All right, you're attacking the Chaos Warrior? Yes. All right. With the long sword. Two. Got him. Ugh. Uh, the, the dwarf will stay there. I'll become uh, like a hundred uh, small uh, Chaos Warrior. <laughs> Miniature size. <laughs> They're all grabbing the, the dwarf and like trying to tie him to the to the ground. <laughs> Elder <Elevator laughs> travel. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Wasn't there something like that in uh, Evil or... Uh, Army of Darkness. <laughs> I was gonna say Evil Dead too, but yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Keeps on, keeps on <laughs> escalating. Character. Escalating. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite's still the second movie. Evil Dead Two: Dead by Dawn. Okay. Anything else, Jaser? Um. No, the, the dwarf will stay there. The uh, crosswoman will move on the other side of the wizard there. And he'll take a shot at the uh, mummy. All right. One skull. Ching. damage all right how about the monk Ooh. monk got a five all right we got a color change and the monk will go down yellow four spaces and activate his fire technique and burn him out all right Fight fire with fire. All right, two body points of damage. Toasty. It's like at first you're like pouring the flame into him, and he's like, ha ha ha, you know, he's like absorbing it, and then it's like, uh oh, too much. <laughs> and then uh, that'll pass that those yellow dice to Bohemius's attack on that uh, 
Chaos Warrior. He can even use four dice with his uh, great sword yeah. on diagonal if he wants. Uh, is it is it skewed on the attack, the yellow dice? Uh, it's the next or combat dice. It's the next combat dice roll, whoever does it, so. Yeah, thank you, Count Cogbox. Got it. Uh, okay, I'm going to use the uh, the big sword for dice. In the Chaos Warrior. Okay, one skull. Wow, yeah. Okay. All right, so back to white dice. Ching, blocked it. Phew. Yeah, that could have been pretty disastrous for me. Yeah. It would have been more disastrous if you were rolling those yellow dice with all them double black shields. <laughs> get those monster wrestling moves okay my turn my turn yes all right this chaos warrior moves over here to attack the barbarian two skulls So we took Barbarian takes one hit. Yep. All right, hero's turn. The wizard enter inside the room and search for traps. This uh, often again. Well, since I'm there. Alright, no traps detected. One, it's okay. No traps. Does the uh, the coffin look like uh, the coffin of a queen? No, it's a generic coffin. Well, it is. Uh, it is kind of roughed up because it's had a, a fiery skeleton crammed into it, and a mummy jumped out of it. But um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's possible there could be something in there. But it doesn't look like any traps. Okay, the um, the striker goes uh, in the direction of the other secret door. It was heavily guarded, of course. All right, the striker goes in the s one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Uh, your turn, Jacer. I guess we can go to the more somber music now. All right, Jason the Dwarf. Out of two. That's all he needs. All right, so I'll take two steps forward. And uh, attack with the long sword. For two. For two. Oh, two hits. The crossbowman will take two steps back 
into that room there and we'll now cover all three of the or all four of those doors the uh the monk will use uh reset everything and use uh speak with stone and search for secret doors and traps okay moment of truth <laughs> all right no secret doors no traps okay I didn't. Uh, no, I will move. Let's. Uh... Five spaces. Ah. Uh... I'll move right in next to the crossbowman. I'll move four spaces. All right. And uh, that'll end my turn. All right. You give him a little salute. He gives you one back. Hey, you don't want to open this, uh, this tomb, right? Uh, you're scared like me. <laughs> They're all like like backing way up and they're like giving you the thumbs up like go for it go for it we'll just hide behind these uh barriers hey, we, we both search for traps i mean it looks clear enough your turn when yeah. you come around you get a chance to search it or right now you can just focus all your anger with the barbarian and attack and some traps are undetectable that is true but you have no way yeah. of knowing right yep so attacking with the barbarian. All right. Okay. Let's go. Got him. Uh, yeah, I quickly put back the uh, shield and the bastard sword. Ugh. All right, you've cleared out the monsters for now. Oh, your turn, Sergeant. All right. Jacer, what's your favorite card in the game? <laughs> Log trap. All right, I'm going to have it hit the uh, the monk and the arbalist right there. Okay, so both of those characters have to roll one combat die. If you get a skull, you take a body point of damage. Since the wizard can see it, can he warn us with his alertness? Because that's like an event? No, he... he the alertness uh, blocked the, uh, the ambush, but not that i don't think so well i mean i'm not actually hitting him i'm just hitting those three squares so he yeah, would have uh, he would have been safe was... yeah all right uh, because it, it, uh, it would make me ignore an event i don't know what is considered an event yeah okay well i think so specifically you... somebody made an event deck and an ambush deck and a wandering monster but i mean yeah I'm a little more free with it, but yeah. I'm thinking like it would protect the guy that used it, not necessarily the the whole party. Alright, so it's three for each one? Uh, I forgot. No, no. One, one for the monk, one for the arbalist. One combat die, and if it's a skull, you get hit. Okay, who is that? Okay. The monk? The... One guy is safe, and the monk. Oh, the arbalist is safe. Is safe, and the next guy. Do it again. 
No skulls, no skulls, skull. All right, twisting turret on the monk. I was going to say, yeah, he's, he's going to use it. Okay. So no damage for anybody. So that huge log fell and just, you know, sawdust and crap flying everywhere, but thankfully nobody was hurt. We, we got protected by the sorcerer's table. Yep. Yeah, it, it took the brunt of the, uh, the trap. Ah, healing potion. Barbarian looks low on drink. Oh, another mummy. Okay, so the barbarian gets a 1d6 healing. Actually, it's the dwarf that's low on drinks, according to the board. Yeah, I mean, the barbarian's low on body, but the you're right, the dwarf is low on... Oh, he changed his mind. Okay, he agrees with you. So thanks, Fubar. So 1d6 for you. If you're wondering why I'm not using the digital uh, character sheets, I don't have those bound to hotkeys yet. I didn't quite get to that point yet. So just using the old fashioned method, but I will have it updated for the next the next game. Which will be not this coming weekend, but the one after that. And I, uh, I should be at three potions, three healing potions Cause total. Used, Cause you used one. Or no, because you got one. I have a plus four, a one d six, and a superior restoration. I used the. I used two potion, two plus fours this quest, and I gave the uh, the little restoration potion to the arbalist who used that already. Yep. All right, and three for the monk. Okay. All right. Now we're now we're caught up. Now we're up to date. Okay, that's my turn. Heroes. Ready. Uh, search for treasures. Acknowledged. Thanks, cop. Count cockbox. Okay. So the wizard searching for treasures. That's it. That's not. <laughs> yeah. Right, so yeah, search for treasures. Uh... Alright. Alright, so these elven skeletons and zombies and mummy <sighs> they were defending a treasure known as the Raven's Talon which was resting in the tomb wrapped in silk cloth. Okay. So let me just see if I have that card to show you what it, what it looks like. The Raven's Talon. Here it is. So the eyes of the raven glitter dangerously if you wield the blade. Using this dagger, roll two attack dice. On your turn, you may re-roll one attack die that lands on a black shield. Okay, so got a bonus monster and an upgrade. Somebody doesn't want you to go home with the treasure. There you go, now you get two attack dice instead of one. Can you use it? it? Well, uh, you have to decide. Do you want to take it? Yeah, but can I use it? Yeah, yep. Wizard can use it. Okay, so you take up the blade. Wow. All right, so you have the... He's a short sword <laughs> for the wizard. Talon. Yeah. With a reroll. Yep. If you get a black shield you can re-roll one. one yeah yeah it's pretty I, I read this this item long time ago i said oh this one is would be awesome on the rogue but i never didn't think about the uh, the wizard yeah it's kind of like him getting his uh magical weapons again like the european version plus it's an artifact awesome. so you can deal with those uh the uh incorporeal Spectrums. dudes and roll shields instead of black 
shields or yeah, but skulls instead of black shields. Mm. Maybe maybe when we have uh, like a disguise quest is better in the hand of the barbarian or somebody else. I don't know. Well, I'm going to keep it for now, and uh, we we'll decide what to do. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. So as you're holding it in your hand, you see that little uh, the little raven design is like glowing and sparkling and glittering. You're like, hmm, that's interesting. It's like really, really bright, really intense. It's like, huh, what could that mean? Oh, oh well. All right, and uh, yeah, the turn, the tomb bursts open once more, and uh, two specters uh, jump out and attack you immediately. Okay, so first one. The base. This is the price to pay. <laughs> one, one skull. I roll. It's been a while. They don't roll defense. Is four. Yep. See, because you got bracers and cloak. Four white. Okay, no damage. Two shields. There. Second one attacks you. Two skulls. Are you gonna roll your defense? Oh, <laughs> it's like go. Oh no, two hits. No, hits. Oh, he, he went so long. All these monsters died in a medi medieval <laughs> clown car. It's so tragic, you had to laugh. Yeah. Okay. Does, does that event end his turn? Uh, well, see, he did his action. And he did yes. move also. Nope, he was standing there because we all left the room before he could do it. Okay, I think I'm going to treat it like a wandering monster trap and say that your turn is over. Unless you had an action. Yeah. Left, but you, didn't, you don't. So, but it's I can move the striker, Can his striker right? still go? Your striker can still go, yes. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go with the striker. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yes. To the uh, south go, uh, Spectre. Or, yeah. Just if you don't forget, there should be two abominations, three bonus monsters, one mummy, two monster upgrades in queue. Trying to get my money's worth and test these mechanics. Oh, believe Nothing. me. Believe me, you will get exactly what's coming to you, I promise. Nothing. What do you mean? I you got three skulls. That's good, right? Okay. And not the guess. Oh, but but yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's not magical. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, it's got to be black shields. What a pity. Okay. All right. Well, with that, then it is the dwarf's turn. Partridge in a pear tree in a different buy. Partridge. Pear tree is a different buy-in. I will search for treasure. All right. Searching for treasure in the room. Uh, yeah, might as well. All right, you find two random potions. And here I think they're wanting you to draw from the uh, alchemy deck. Just give those a quick shuffle. It's all good stuff, except for Grog. Well, Bohemius doesn't consider that a bad, bad option. <laughs> all right, potion of healing. 1d6, a blue, brilliantly glowing elixir that tastes of home. And Grog! A rare delicacy among yes. collectors. 
I I have I'm gonna formulate my own plans for the use of Grog and against the Ogre Horde. If they don't do it, I'm surely gonna do it myself. You know what's true. It's got there, there's got to be a way to bribe yeah. the ogres. Yep. My thoughts on it is that if you have enough Grog <laughs> to to count for their body points, it would equal uh, out, and then they would. Just get ignore so you totally it'd become passive or or something or or just leave yeah so but then hammered. you would need one grog per body point for them ogres yeah you could save, they save become friendly for one turn <laughs> yeah. you buy the weak grog after that you're on your own okay so those go to the to the dwarf I'm trying to adopt similar event mechanics for my personal game I'm starting at a few house rules events to randomize attacks yeah, don't worry, there, right. there's the, time. Okay. So. The dwarf is also going to use the bonus search in that room. I always got to put an exclamation point after Grog. Grog! Okay, so bonus save search. Oh, and my potion count goes to four. On the uh... Yeah, because one of those is healing. Good call. Hazard. Oh, but it doesn't count because it's safe. All right, let's try that again. Poison. That doesn't count. Wandering monster. That doesn't count. <laughs> Nothing. Well, that counts. It counts. <laughs> it's safe. Well, considering it protected you from all that nonsense, I guess it's good. All right, uh, I will... Um... I don't shuffle every draw. That's why I have the uh, shuffle the deck option in there. Okay. I'll roll for movement. Go four spaces. You know, I'll go three spaces just outside that door. Down here? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. And the arbor well, might be one too many spaces. Oh but... yeah, because there's only four. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh... Arbalist. All right. The arbalist is gonna move uh, right next to the um, monk there and shoot diagonally at the specter. From here? No, the uh, oh, right. right above the monk. So like oh, through I the see. diagonally through the door. Yep, that works. One. Okay. One black shield. All right, and I roll three defense. Black, black shields with black shields. Ching. All right. Uh, the the monk takes one step in and uses his air ability. Ah, he can just reach them both. All right. So he tells the. Uh, the wizard and the striker duck <laughs> he unleashes a flurry of, of attacks all right let's see what you get it's the two specters one okay. it's one block Top one. Oh, bottom one got knocked out. 
All right, worth it. And then my fists light up with flame because I just used all three of those skills. Because these guys happen to pop up before I could reset. <laughs> That's true. Just when you thought you were out, he pulled you back in. All right, some fires unlocked. Okay, barbarian. Now, Cogbox says, I like a Grog being able to be used on an ogre who hasn't made an attack yet. Ogre rolls a die. Black Shield, he has knocked out the rest of the game. <laughs> so good stuff. White Shield, he is weakened. Movement slash attack. And a Skull, he is enraged to attack only the Grog giver. <laughs> you call this Grog. Miss Inferior Swill, you will pay. Except when he says it, it sounds like... <laughs> Or if you give them the grog, they have to drink it immediately, and if they go into shock, then they're in shock. <laughs> <laughs> and they block the corridor. Yeah. <laughs> Lying down on the ground. Uh, sleeping, sleeping ogre. All right. Um, to tunnel around. The, uh, that, uh, the alchemy bench still needs, I guess that room needs to be searched for secret doors. But other than that, I don't know what else to do except head back the other way towards the other doors. Okay, so uh, with the Barbarian searching for uh, secret doors, in case, well, nope. I'd like to, uh, anyway, there's a bench there, I have to go there with a wizard too, to search. Yeah, good point. But I'm searching anyway to, to see, uh, let's see, let's check this oh, theory. Uh, the, the, uh, the dwarf, I have ingredients, so I have to pass them to the wizard on the wizard's way to yeah. that bench. Yeah, sacred plant, unidentified ingredient. So, let's see. And the monk... the, well, the barbarian is searching for uh, secret doors. Okay, no secret doors. So, and... it's moving in the direction of the group. And then the monk has unforeseen fate. Six. Okay. All right, where will he go? Oh, just towards the one, two, three, four. Yeah, towards the yeah, rest of the people. Your turn. All right. Hmm, he's got fire. What about a little fire, Scarecrow? Uh, let's... I'm going to use Channel Dread on the Monk. Four. So that means... Uh, one body point of damage for the Monk. He can't twist his way out of it this time. Monk's down to two. And I'm going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Escapes down here, through the wall, into the room. Okay, hero's turn. Let's try to chase the ghost now. Okay. Mordecai says, DM me later. Oh, he's talking to Cogpox. Or tomorrow about after, before the Super Bowl, and I can let you know how I was able to add the randomization of this stream's homebrew effectively into my game. If you're interested, that is. Cool. Yes, why don't you... Charge! Uh, let me know, too, Mordecai. I'm curious. I mean, I'm not saying everybody has to do it the way I do it. Um, but yeah, I'm just curious how you do it. Ten. The wizard is eager to try the uh, new toy, so it's chasing the ghost. 
right. In charge. Four, five, six. Into the room. Eight here. Yeah. All right. Where are you going? <laughs> You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes of playtime. Two skulls. Two skulls. No, I'm well, it's magical, so yes. It yeah. hits. Yeah. It sure. hits. Sure does. Mm -hmm. Got him. Uh... The blade finds its mark. Yes. <laughs> yeah, perfect for killing specters. Even nothing but a quivering pile of jello. Slime everywhere. Yep. Feels so fun. So, uh, the uh, striker yeah, is. It would have the to call it ectoplasm, right? Yeah. So when he blows her nose, you want to keep it? No. Oh. <laughs> so there's a book case, he tried to the wipe striker... it on. <laughs> yeah, the striker. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm going in the direction of the, uh, of the wizard. The path of the wandering wizard. He's following. Yep. Okay. You got J, sir. All right. The uh, the dwarf quickly puts the tower shield on his back. And sprints eight spaces towards the wizard. That's not my name anymore. I'm a berserker now with this weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the title. <laughs> I picture it. it's like the wizarder. It's the noisy, the noisy cricket. It's like, oh, that doesn't look like it could be much. <laughs> yeah. It's All right. The um, the crosswoman is gonna open the door to the north. Door to. I'll move north. two spaces and open that door. All right. Two. The door is uh, kind of sticky, but. Uh, he finally gets it open. All right. Feels a little draft blowing. And sure enough, the long awaited staircase. Oh. Uh -huh. He'll hold, he'll uh, stand there and guard the door and the door to the exit. Right. All right. The monk will walk into the uh, two spaces to the left and he'll search that room for treasure. All right. Does he have a lunar charm? Yes. Okay. So he can restore one body point. And he can draw a treasure card. Gold! 25 gold coins. So now he's at 875. Yes. All right, uh, Barbarian. Hop of the tank now has a taste for blood. The wizard refuses to leave, so he may revel in the, their new bloodlust. Yeah. So say you, Fubar.
is my dungeon now. Mine. <laughs> All right. What's he gonna do? Uh, is is the barbarian turn? Yeah, barbarian. I'm entering the same room with the wizard and search for secret doors. All right, no secret doors. Okay, the uh, second turn. All right, go ahead, heroes. The wizard is searching for secret doors. Because the barbarian doesn't have the... Uh, okay. The charm. Still no secret doors. So he moves uh, to the door. And open it. Opens the door, yes. Uh, er, the uh, the wizard. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, but the wizard has used his action already. Yes, I can open the door anyway, yeah. right? Yes, just just checking. Okay, so you open the door. Revealing the room. Just have to manhandle it here. Okay. In the room you see many things. A fireplace. A bookcase. A throne. And out of the fireplace you see a flaming mummy. A flaming abomination. A regular abomination. And a goblin. Barbarian have to look for a new party to join. He's been jumping from one party to the next. Nice. There. All those monsters you were worried I'd forgotten about. Oh no. Yeah. They were just waiting. <laughs> waiting for their opportunity. So, uh, the wizard. If I can move an extra square. Yes, enough. I'm going to one square to the left. The interrupted story time. <laughs> <laughs> then the uh, they all die striker dreadfully ever coming in my direction. Five squares. One, two, three, four, five. You want him lined up with the door? Yeah, there is fine. Okay. Uh, can I can I get to the door? No, I'm not. I'm not going to the door. I'll stay there. Where do you want? Can to you go? move him down but, and out of the way so that I can shoot? Instead of moving yeah, him. You tell me where you want it. I'll, uh, if he goes straight down. Okay. That's it. One. One more. Here. There you go. Yes. Okay. I'm following directives. Yeah. Go I'm not sure that I can get a shot, but if I can, I'd I'd like to at least try to do something, and the barbarian hopefully can get in there to do a little more damage. But two bonus monsters, she says. One, two, three. I don't recall there being that many bonus monsters. Uh, 
Bonus potion. Alright. Potion of healing. Four lost body points. Two bonus monsters, he says. Okay. Okay. All right, who gets the plus four? Uh, yeah, give it to the monk. Give it to the monk, I guess. He has the yeah. least amount of healing potions. Okay. All right, back up at the stairwell. An elven swordsman and a magus guard appear. Seems somebody was tipped off. They wanted to prevent your escape. I know we can switch cameras. All right, and the dwarf rolled a nine for movement. Okay. We're going to move him. Uh, next to the Barbarian, so he can shoot the Famir, or the Abomination. Where do you want him to end up? Oh, like here? Uh, I guess to the, yeah, right there to the side of him, I guess. And he'll take a shot with the crossbow. Two skulls. Got him. Hurry up, nice. Magnus. Story time has started. Hey, who are these guys? <laughs> All right, got him. Then the crosswoman's going to shoot. Uh, what's in that other room? An elven swordsman and... Swordsman and Magus guard. Uh, let's shoot the Magus guard, I guess. All right. Three skulls. Wow. Okay. Uh, he goes tumbling down the stairs. Dun, 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 dun. One shot at him. All right, and then the crossbowman will move one, two, three, four, five spaces south. Just checking. Yeah, this were the barbarians on the secret door. Right, monk moves five. Um, let's go 
right up to uh, three spaces and we'll attack the swordsman with strength of mountain. Okay. Wow, three skulls. Ching and one hit. All right, he's got two left. All right, uh, that ends the monk's turn. So, barbarian. I am hold five for the movement. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I go exactly in front of the door. The barbarian, the barbarian. <laughs> two, three, four. Equip the uh, two handed sword and attack the Femir. Okay. Suspense. Three skulls. Three skulls. Two hits. Ugh. Got him. Uh, your turn. All right. All right. That mummy is going to use Ball of Flame. Against the barbarian. Roll your two dice. Four and one, so we take two hits. Done. Do you have a fire resist yes. or, or a magic resist? I don't know my option. Could you pull up the uh, sheet, please? Oh, yes. It might not be 100% up to date, but let's see. Um, restoration. Fire resist. Fire resist. Oh, wait a minute. No. That's the wrong character sheet. I'm sorry. The older knight. Yes. <laughs> Get, got your yeah. up. Okay. Yeah, because it he's a knight. This one is not a knight, right? He's a champion. Um, okay. See, that's why I, I should have just stuck to the paper. Okay. Um, this is what I have for him. Uh, Plus four healing. Yeah. Superior restoration. He's got a couple of yeah. those. I'm going to use a heal plus four. All right. Look at look at the weapons. <laughs> yeah. The last skill I do. Two long sword. <laughs> it's hilarious. Get a collection. Yep. Okay. So you used a plus four. Yep. Alive, and we got a bonus potion from Wardicon. 
not going to let you go thirsty. Half-filled healing potion of plus two. Who gets it? Plus two healing. The Barbarians. <laughs> well, the walking pincushion. The crew at the tavern calling the porcupine. Okay, sure, we'll give him the healing plus two. Okay. All right. So after the mummy, um, okay, I'm going to use frenzy. So the monster attacking you howls in a mad fury. All right. So this, uh, goblin is going to move and attack the barbarian twice so that'd be four dice two skulls uh oh four shields it's going, darn it it's going to regret this. that that hurts <laughs> my uh, my plan um Okay, so you blocked everything and you get a wrestling move against him. All right, what's it going to be? Uh, uh, pick a card. All right. Million dollar dream. All right, so you uh, oh. <laughs> you get him in a you get him in a headlock and you're just like uh, choking him out. Uh, uh, uh. And he uses uh, monster shield. Somehow he has the charisma to do this. He he slips out of it and throws the mummy <laughs> into the into the chokehold, and the mummy is like getting choked out. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, the humiliation. Yep. <laughs> so it takes one body point, but the goblin's still alive. Okay, I'm gonna use those up. Okay. Well, I guess that mummy is right there. Might as well attack. It's gonna attack the barbarian and missed. The mummy already did attack the barbarian with the ball of flame. Oh, you're right. Okay. Well, he missed anyway. The system knew I was trying to cheat, so forget it. Okay. All right. That's my turn then. That's it. That's all I can do. Mm. <laughs> yes. So the wizard is going to attack with the uh, staff. All right. One skull. A rage. One skull. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Defense with four. Oh, got him. Uh, he, he's got like this uh, blue chalk mark on his eye socket and he staggers back and falls into the fireplace. Uh, the wizard dips his fingers in the dust and uh, draw two marks under his eyes. <laughs> He's applied his war paint. Yes. <laughs> Does he also light a torch and go? <laughs> the uh, the uh, striker enters in the room and attacks the goblin. All right. No, it's nonsense. Okay. Three, sh three skulls. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, 
<laughs> the goblin just kind of like fades into nothingness. <laughs> yep. Got him. Good, good. You did well, my apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your turn, Dacer. Before I take my turn, do you want to attack with your other monster? Oh. I forgot all about him. On the stairs. Thank you for that. Okay, we got another abomination appearing. Yes, I anyway, will. Anyway, he's going to use the torrent. He did, he did, he did have to use the torrent. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's got it, he might as well use it. Okay, so I'll just attack here with four. Oh, another bonus monster. So they don't want it to end. All right, two skulls for two bonus monsters. Is he elite? <laughs> No, he's just. Oh no, he's a. Uh, oh no, no, they roll four and they defend with three. Never mind. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna use a uh, twisting turret. All right. No damage. Okay, uh, All right. got the threat card, and chaos card. Excellent. More chaos, yep. Always more chaos. All right, the, the dwarf got a four for movement. Uh, can I get the camera centered more on the dwarf? Uh, the dwarf will go four spaces south. And uh, search the room for treasure for treasure okay all right let me check here maybe the queen looks into the fireplace i don't know Wandering monster. Which in I this guess this room wasn't the clue. All right, the specter appears. All right, who was? Oh, it was the dwarf. All right, specter attacks him. Okay, one skull. Ching, no damage. All right. Try 
get these cameras just right here. There we go. Okay, on the stairs, a Femir appears leading two additional monsters. Another swordsman and a zombie. Okay. All right. That's uh, my turn. Uh, no, it's the crossbowman comes after the dwarf. Or yeah, I guess I was just cashing in stuff. Okay, so after the dwarf. Cross the arbalist. Arbalist. Let's get that back again. Starting to look like Batman. They're coming. Decisions, decisions. I guess, uh... The, the monk's kind of really in the way. Just keep them there. Keep the crosswomen there, and I guess go to the uh, two, three. I guess move the crosswomen three spaces north, and one space to the right. All right, and the monk only has two cards used up, right? Um, he used water, and that's it. So he's still got earth and air. All right, let me use the earth fist on the uh, swordsman. Two skulls. One black shield and one hit. He's got one left. Okay, Barbarian. Attacking diagonally, the, the uh, specter. All right, which weapon? The, the only one that can attack is the four dice, right? Well, you, well, the great sword is stronger than the long sword, so you have both of those. So yeah, uh, I use the um, two black, two white. Two, two black, two white. One. Okay. 
Ching. Amazing. Block. He uh, enter the room. Go one. Just uh, to the side of the dwarf. One, two. There. Okay. Sarkin's turn. All right. All right, we're going to try Lure of Chaos on the Striker. So roll one combat die. If it's a black shield, he's mine. Oh, the Lure of Chaos. He's been tempted by the power of chaos. He turns around and you see him go. <laughs> All right. Where he got the fancy new armor from? Well, maybe it was in the in the closet there. He's become a chaos warrior. That's like the first time I think that's actually worked. It actually makes the swordsman weaker. Well, there's a price to pay. Yep. Okay, let's see what else do I have. Alright, I'm going to use Creeping Darkness. So a strange darkness prevents you from using magic. So no spells or spell scrolls until my next turn. By you guys, I mean. <laughs> um, okay, the specter's going to ah, upgrade. Nice. Well, I did grab the red one. I guess he could be uh <laughs> he could be an elite. There we go. Okay, but he a bonus potion for hero from Mordecon. So Count Cogpox and Mordecon are warring with each other. Okay, half filled potion plus two. Who gets it? Who needs it? <laughs> Chaos card. Who needs it? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's uh, give it to the wizard. Yeah, give it to me. All right, the wizard gets a plus two healing. And cast card for Zargon. Thank you. Five. Oh, I used one. Okay. All right. Uh, Spectre is going to... Now, why is he just staying in the room? He can do whatever he wants. Let me see here. Yeah, he's going to pass through one, two, three, four, and use Channel Dread against the wizard. Four, that means one body point damage. Okay, so the wizard's down to one. Unless were you considering using a potion there? Yeah, because I got uh, one fire resistant and one resistant to spell effect. So no, I cannot save anything. 
No, I have one also against the uh, spell damage, but only one is fine for now. Okay, so you're not gonna. No, no, it's fine. I'll take it. Take the hit. Like no, I take the damage for now. Like a champ. Mm. Is that all you got? <laughs> he screams with his. Yeah. He's got that. Uh, he's got that dagger. Maybe it's cursed. It, it turns you into a berserker. Yep. Okay, well, all right. I've got all these other monsters I can I can use. Another abomination appears. Where are they all coming from? All right. He jumps up the stairs. Okay, so. Uh, Let's say the, the first swordsman is going to attack the monk. Another upgrade. Okay. Turns into a fiery one. Another upgrade. Two upgrades. Okay, uh, let me see here. Turn that into a flaming zombie easily enough. Okay, it's first swordsman attacks. Okay, you missed. Dread Moon rises. Yep, it's getting close. Okay, so that one missed, so he's gonna move over to the side here. This one steps forward to attack the monk. Two skulls. Another upgrade. Okay, blocked one but got hit by the other. <laughs> Throw Grog at them, Bohemians, he says. <laughs> Upgrade. Ah, uh, let me see. Uh, let's just turn this one into an elite here. Okay, so that one attacked. Now we'll just have this elite Famir step forward to attack the monk. <clears throat> One skull. Tangerians and elephants. Oh, tangerines and elephants. Do 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 looking at my dread. Yep. Oh, wrestling move. Uh draw the card with the monk. Alright. So what was Ricky the Dragon's dream boat's uh special? Oh, gets a mandible claw. All right, you're just like shoving your fist down his throat. He uh. does the fish hook. Oh no. His hands are so pure, the monster can't stand it. He's like, uh. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, let's see, other monsters. Let's see, that's zombie, go. Four and shoots ball of flame at the monk. Roll your <laughs> grog grenades. It's funny. All tough cocktails. Like, no, you're not supposed to drink them. <laughs> Breathe fire. Okay, so he took two damage. What is the monk gonna use here? 
I see superior restoration, plus four healing. It's got a couple of D6s. It's got the unforeseen fate. Spicy. Jace, are you still with me? Yes. Let's do the unforeseen fate. Ah, interesting. We just have to look at that See. card. That means we just draw one from the draw one from the alchemy deck and just immediately use it, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right, we start go. the chant. Grog, grog, grog. <laughs> Shuffle it up here first. Make sure to put all the grog on the top. Printed out extra grog cards. Just kidding. Okay. You use it immediately. A potion of lesser healing. Oh, just what he needed. Blue, softly glowing elixir that tastes of home. Nice. <laughs> all right, so got that too, then, right? Oops. Yep. You still have another monster. Yes. That fiery Vermeer. That flaming abomination. It's going to uh, cast ball of flame against the monk. Grog is highly flammable. Yep, you need an iron stomach. All right, roll your two dice. Okay, so you block one damage one with one damage. Perfect. You should have waited for the darkness until after all the monsters cast their spells. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, did I do everything? I think I did everything I could have done. Okay. All right, heroes. Okay. Vector killer. So the wizard moves two square to the right. Drink a potion of recall. Ah. And drink, and recuperate uh, courage. Drinks uh, magical uh, aptitude and cast Rock Skin and Courage on the Monk. You can't cast any spells this turn. Why? Because of the magical darkness. It. No. You can still drink those potions. I totally missed that. Sorry. I drink those potions. It's too bad. <laughs> well, okay, so you get courage back. But you might want to move two to the specter and use your special dagger to slaughter him. Uh, well, at this point, yes, let me roll. Got destructed. Two, D six. Nine, yes, is enough. I'm going close to the uh, to the specter and attack. Okay. Does the uh, magical item uh, works right now? The card or not? Uh, yeah, the uh, the object would work. It's the casting of the spells that doesn't work. So 
if you want, you can save your app. Yeah, I really missed that. I didn't even hear, oh. hear that you use it. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was going to say the best Shoot. when people forget, that's the best time. I forget sometimes too, and I'm just like throwing fire at people. It's like, ah, I've got fire resistance. Here. Right. Well, that's why I said it seemed it seemed funny that you used this darkness spell, then all of a sudden your monster started casting all these spells everywhere. I was like, you maybe you should have used that after you casted all your spells so that it would be, fit more. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they used all the magic or something. Oh, well, they sucked all the magic out of the room, and then it became dark. Yeah, that's that. That's more cinematic. Yeah, I'll remember that for now. <clears throat> One spell. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, wait a minute. Which, oh, you re-rolled. You re-rolled. I get it. I see. Yep. Yeah, re rolled the Black Skull. Yep. You can do that. Oh. Sunk it into his uh, ghostly heart and turned him into a delicious pudding. Barbarian. Oh well, it's your turn. Uh, no, wait. It's, back from the it's dead. Yes, he lost the uh, the striker. The delicious pudding forms back into the monster, <laughs> and it says he can attack. Okay, so I attack. Watch him miss. Oh, he got one. Okay, wizard, defend yourself. One skull. Jing, no damage. All right. No striker. Falls on deaf ears. So, the dwarf. All right, the dwarf will attack. Former ally. Use bonus treasure searches. Oops, I couldn't see the monster hiding in the corner. Hey, Richie boy. Thanks, Richie. One. Bonus potion. One skull. Okay. All right, he's an elite. Ching. Bonus potion. Magical aptitude. Well. The wizard was talking about that. Does he want it? Yes. Hey, I'm give it to the wizard. <laughs> Quadruple genie. <laughs> well, he doesn't. All right, I'll uh, I'll take one step north with the dwarf. Okay. North of the dwarf. North of the dwarf. Uh, the crossbow I need to see the northern end of the board I guess uh, move I guess can he move one space forward, I guess, to get a good shot on the Femir? Or the yes. or the Flaming Abomination? Yes. Alright. Have to see more Zargonauts. Yeah, the forces of chaos have conspired. Make it uh, two. Okay. Let's get that on the board. Got him. Up in a gout of flame. All right, the monk will take one step back and shoot the longbow at the uh, swordsman on the stairs. Okay.
missed. Nothing. Uh, barbarian. Yeah, um, just attack him. Two skulls. Two skulls. Ching and a hit. He moves uh, one square to the left. Locked him around a bit. You can go. Guess where your attack's back. Four skulls. You'll pay the price for your lack of vision. Ching, and three hits. Ouch. So it goes to one. Yeah, okay. cool. Only now, at the end, do you understand. Alright, other monsters, of which there are many. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to use Channel Dread against the wizard. Five. Okay, so two body points of damage against the wizard. This time I'm going to use the uh, magic resistance based damage. Oh, yes. Okay, so no damage there. All right, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight into the room. S escaped there. Okay, now these monsters here. All right, this zombie, one, two, three, four. It's going to, oh, used it up already. Just kidding. Uh, darn. All right, we'll have the elite for the mirror move forward to attack the monk. I forgot they only get one fireball attack. Alright, two skulls, monk. Got the one hour warning. Two hits. Drink the plus four. Okay. All right, so he lives. Okay, heroes. So, this turn, I can use spells, right? Oh, yes. So, yep. 
Uh, can I see the entire map, please? Yeah, I can still see the, uh, the monk. I'll do what I wanted to do there. Turn before, two square to the right. And uh, use the magical aptitude. And cast courage and uh, uh, rock skin on the uh, monk. All right, go long. Rock skin and courage. I don't know the modifier for uh, my level. You, you're going to remind it to yeah to Jacer, please. Okay, so the monk has courage. I'll let you use two black dice for that, and for rock skin. How about uh, just two regular dice? Did a one for defense. All right, sounds sounds good. That's it. Go, Jay, sir. <laughs> Destroy everything. That's one magical aptitude used up. All right, the uh, dwarf will move two spaces and attack with the longsword diagonally to the Chaos Warrior. Left or right? Your uh, I guess left by the fireplace. By the fireplace. And he missed. Fancy looking fireplace. He was distracted by its uh, ornate beauty. He missed. All right, the crossbowmen will try to shoot at uh, the Femir. Okay. Uh, he's got to move in order to do that. Let's see. Actually, I don't think he can hit him from here. But he was right in front of the door attacking the monk, right? Yeah. He's right here. Oh, I see what you're saying. If he's here, he can't shoot through him. And if you're standing here, I mean, I don't... Oh, then I'm diagonal. Everyone. All right, yeah. never mind. Yeah. It doesn't look like he can really hit anybody unless the monk moves. Unless it were an uncommon feat, I suppose. Uh... He'll, I guess uh, I'll just have him back up one space. Okay. Uh, I guess the monk will use his uh, spinning fist there. All right. Guy the tiger. You can hit two monsters at once. Four skulls. Four skulls. Wow. Okay, well... But that's nothing for the Spectre. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Spectre didn't even have to roll damage. Okay, so... Uh, we'll do three for the Elite Femir. Oh, not so good for him, though. Wham! Him. Took him down. Come for the count. He did one of those uh, slow-motion roundhouse kicks that would... Uh, Make both Chuck Norris and John Claude Van Damme proud. All right, so that brings us back to the Barbarian again. Mm -hmm. His name is John Cena. Oh, I, I can hear it. It's just really, really quiet. It worked? Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'm checking <laughs> if they work. Yeah. 
I think maybe just the volume okay. is low for it. So when I'm playing maybe. music, I can't hear it. Because I think I lowered the music because it was so loud, but I didn't mean to make it so quiet that you could barely hear it. It's just that the John Cena one is so loud that you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, it. maybe it's that. Maybe you have to check just yeah. the uh, the mute, volume. Uh, mute means that you can uh, you can just barely hear it. <laughs> oh, Normal volume. Barbarian attack. <laughs> Two skulls. Okay. Two black shields. Two shield. Barbarian. Uh, Do you need help with the uh, with the monk? Because I can try to run. Let's see how much I can move. Let's see if he's uh, worth it. You can skip leg day this week. Yep. Let's see. If the barbarian can run. 11! Oh, yes. With this roll, uh, for sure, I'm going uh, to help the boom the monk. Coming, buddy boy. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. That was perfect. Exactly where I want it. Okay. Yeah, you could be there or you could be like, right here. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to block the uh, the crossbow. So that's it for now. Is a good spot. Okay. All right. Swordsman moves forward. And he's going to attack. One skull. No damage. Okay. Uh, I guess this other swordsman. Yeah. Why even bother? Yeah, they're all kind of in bad spots. Alright, this specter is going to go one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And use channel dread against the uh, crossbowman. Oh, bonus potion for hero. Let me draw that out. Potion of magic resistance. Gee, who should get that one? Which one? Crossbowman. <laughs> 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 I would have missed it anyway, but <laughs> lovely. Okay, as you say, magic resistance for the crossbowman. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, oh, it's tempting to do this. Let's see. Four, five, six. All right. This chaos warrior is going to charge. The monster suddenly charges, so he gets to double double movement. Oh, does he chase the barbarian? Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. That's great, though. Yep. So, ah, I was like, oh no, he left the door open. Now they're going to kill the wizard. <laughs> yeah, he runs right uh, past. Remember, him. that that Chaos Warrior got a potion. <laughs> yeah, because he was the, uh, the mercenary with the potion. You guys gave him another potion? Or did we use it? used it up. No, I didn't give the potion. I thought that, no, we used the potion. Okay, 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 yeah. fine. The bad guy <laughs> the bad guy has a potion. It's like, well that's a dirty <laughs> trick. Or like, does he come back from death? And he's like, ah, I regret everything. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> he's all scared. Um, okay, no. He's going to uh, 
attack the barbarian. Alright, there's black dice. Three skulls. Okay, that's where I needed that due to the weight of armor. Yep. Okay, to Ching and one hit. Shields. Yeah. Again, I need to see the uh, the options. I remember. Yes. Do I have a? Show you the correct one. A one d six potion. I haven't made all the modifications there. I used the plus four healing. Yeah, the the, the plus four is being used already. Yeah. So you've got a plus two though. I I I don't see any uh, d six. Uh, use a plus two. You can. Yeah. Okay. Delete it. Okay. All right. It's back alive. Hey, wow. Yep. Okay, I think that's all I'm really able to do. So, heroes, your turn. Wizard? Yeah, the mic off. Um, officer, roll seven. Enter in the room with the, the fire fireplace and search for secret doors. Okay. Two, three, four. Where did you want to? Any particular spot you want to end up, or doesn't matter. Yeah, we didn't search yet for for, for uh, traps, so I don't want to go further. Okay. So you search for secret doors. Yeah. All right. So as you see, search for secret doors. The portrait of the queen on the mantelpiece looks to the wall next to the bookcase. So you follow her eyes and they seem to be looking at this corner of the wall. Yeah, Xerxes. So I had a really uh, nice time, nice chat with uh, Big Red when he was doing his stream, his Hero Quest stream. The guy he was supposed to play didn't show up, so we just kind of talked shop. And he made a suggestion, well, why not just put the character sheet on the screen? And I told him, well, it's so much such of a problem. He's like, well, just, just you know, make it a text file, just put the important things. And I thought, okay, sure, I'll give it a shot. And I mentioned I had a stream deck, and he was like, oh, yeah, you could just put that to a key. So I started working on that. Uh, putting some preliminary character sheets on the screen, I thought, well, <laughs> I'll use these, and I don't have all the hotkeys set, so they're not 100% done. But yeah, people see them and go, wow, this is, you know, this is terrible. You, you could do so much better. Then maybe that'll solicit more suggestions. Um, because there's, I know there's apps out there for OBS, and there's apps out there for Stream Deck that may do what I'm trying to do better than just typing it in. But yeah, so far I just have. Um, these sheets so like I have that and this and yeah they take up a lot of room so I can't just keep them on the screen at all times but yeah pretty much like that so anyway just an idea I'm always open to suggestions and improvements Yeah, the trick is keeping it updated. <clears throat> okay, where were we? Okay, so he he saw that the queen's so, eyes are looking at the wall. So I search for uh, secret doors. I I uh, I get the this clue, but I don't. Yep. So that's, there's uh, like a. Uh... That's where you must use pass through rock. Yeah, possibly. 
when uh, I'm going to do an external anyway, but if you can search for uh, traps before I move, uh, it will be nice. All right. Uh, the dwarf will search for traps. Thank you. Okay. You search for traps and you do not detect any traps. All right. I uh, move two spaces. Uh, just outside the door, or north of the, uh, wizard. Alright. You back away, and hide behind a bulkhead, just in case. <laughs> Give the wizard the thumbs up signal, as you dive for cover. Yep. <laughs> try, I'll, I'll try, try to the battle the specter if it comes back. Yeah. I don't know if it's better if I, if I use the, uh... Past rock on me on uh, or on you. Well, you have you the have spell a... and the scroll, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a tough call, but I would say that you cast it on yourself, and then you got the scroll to get back out in case there's no door. Yeah, well, I was just thinking about the. Uh, the no, the, that's fine. That's fine. It's. For the movement, if I have, if if I have to go, can I see the entire map around there, please? Yeah. There's the card of the uh, there is I mean, of the map. Well, let me. I, what, I'll uh, I'm gonna check this, later. Uh, Sorry, I don't want to. This, I don't want to interrupt the uh, the turn. What if the queen is a lunatic and you know she's been consumed by chaos and these tri these clues are yeah. are just crap? But uh, you're heroes. You take the risks. That, Ordinary mortals would not. Okay. So after the wizard. Uh, yeah, dwarf well, the, the, the wizard dwarf went. Then, then, then the dwarf, the dwarf went. Right. Uh, the, monk. the crossbowman. Oh, monk. Uh, monk I'm crossbow. guessing still can't really see anything. Oh no, the crossbowman will attack the uh, the Chaos Warrior. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, either one. Okay. Three. Blocked one, get hit by two more. Ugh. Overkill. Uh, smashes into the, into the Sorcerer's Table. Got him. All right, is he gonna move it all? Uh, yeah, I guess two spaces south. Doesn't really matter. That specter, that specter can go anywhere. Um. Actually, that's that specter's diagonal of the monk, right? Uh, like a straight shot from the monk. Yes. All right, the monk's going to use his fire ability and beam that specter. All right. All right. Toasty! Ah! Got him. And uh, pass to the barbarian.
<laughs> oh man. See, I gotta watch that movie next. Big Trouble in Little China. Cult classic. Alright, so what's the barbarian gonna do? Yeah, go go well, by the side of the uh, the monk to his left. And attack. Okay. Every time the barbarian attack, I have to write a poem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two skulls. What I did on my summer vacation. All right, two skulls. Not bad, not bad at all. Ching and a hit. All right, my turn. Your turn, yes. All right, that swordsman is going to attack back against the monk. Three skulls, monk. Ching ching, and one hit. Yep, lost rock skin. Oh, and you rolled all the extra ones you were supposed to. And still, it wasn't enough. Yep. Not enough. Okay. All right. He's down to three. Okay. And let's see. Uh, move back. Now, just because these guys are on the stairs doesn't mean they can't be attacked. One, two, three. This heavily damaged one. It's going to attack. Swordsman attacks with four. Against the monk. Two skulls. Two hits. Down two more. Okay, and the zombie can't really do anything. All right, hero's turn. Uh, just a parenthesis: when we search the room with the um, with the chest, the one with the uh, with the scroll, did, did we got also gold from that chest? Because uh, you you mentioned it. Yes, uh, I got five hundred. Yeah, five hundred we get. Okay. I actually goofed it up. I was supposed to put the chest out beforehand, but I didn't. So then I was like, oh, maybe it's a secret chest. <laughs> comes out of the wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Got so, let's see how much I'm going to move. Oh, the risky. The risky part of your job. Then, okay. I cast... Uh, my spell, uh, Pastor Rock. All right. And we start to explore. Uh, Ten. Sigmar, protect me. <laughs> I enter inside the wall. Okay, tell me exactly yep. where you're I going. What? Two, three square to the right. Okay. Okay. So far, you don't see something. Do I see rock. something? You see, you're in a room. And I'll tell you what you see Three. for you. Make your uh, one, one extra square to the right. Uh, Nothing. Well, I got to put the stuff out here first. Sorry, I'm just looking for the right components. 
four. Okay, there's a table here. And there's a frightful looking mummy in here. And there's also a statue here. All right, let me just check the note. All right, are you carrying a lunar charm by any chance? Yes, you are. Yes. All right. The lunar charm starts glowing. The mummy crumbles to dust instantly. Okay. And that statue looks interesting to you. No doors. Uh, you don't see any doors. In the previous corridor, the one where we enter, where was the uh, the block? The block, the uh, corridor, in, uh, the south. One here and one here. You know, it's just outside of the uh, view of the camera in the south. Talking about the the entrance of the dungeon. Oh, the very entrance. Yeah. Oh, it's there. So. Right here. Yeah, you could just be a one-way ah! sticker doors. Well, you, I don't know what to do. You used your action, <laughs> so. I, I so would stay there. You have the scroll to get out. If you know what I mean, if there's yeah. no doors. Oh well, yes, it's true. I'm not inside the wall. I'm thinking oh, I'm inside the wall. I'm inside the wall. <laughs> no, it's true. I can get out from here. So yeah. that's it. Uh, I stop there. Okay. Next turn, I'm going to explore the room. I like the Canterville ghost, or the cask of Amontillado. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so your turn, uh, Jason. So the scroll is... Oh, you used the spell or they used the scroll? Which one did you use up? I used the spell. Spell, okay. So Pastor Rock is used. My spell, yes. Okay. Jacer. All right. I don't know if it'll work or not. The dwarf got five. He's going to try to follow the wizard through the door, maybe, or through the wall. Maybe once it's activated, it stays Long. open. All right, he smacked oh. into a solid stone. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't work like this, the, the statue with the air thing that we did earlier. He looks uh, back yeah. at the uh, queen's portrait, and he, for a second, he he looks, he thinks that like she's doing a face palm, but it was just his imagination. He blinks, and it's just her staring at the wall. <laughs> I, I had to try. All right. Uh, all right. Then I take uh, one. That was one, two, three. Ah. So I take two steps back towards the the other, the gray door, the open door. All right, back through the door or just up to it? Up to it. That's all my movement. Yep. Just acknowledging Big Red. It was his idea. Yep. Still working on it. I um, I signed hotkey. The problem is I I have so many keys assigned to different things. Like it's hard to find the right keys to do it because I have uh, like the on-off toggles for the Mage of the Mirror quest, but then I have the Rise of the Dread Moon, so I need four more hotkeys. So. I'm I'm still working on that, but yeah, work in progress. All right, can we scroll up to the crossbowman? But of course, I'm sure you can do a folder and a folder. Mm, it didn't let me do that. I tried, and it 
Unless it's called something else. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how to do that, but I can I can look it up. There's lots of tutorials online. Maybe something I'm missing. Okay, so what do you think? Uh, All right. I still can't get it. I still can't get a shot, can I? Even if he moves. Um, you can get a shot if he if the um, monk moves out of the way. All right. Well, I can't move the monk on the dwarf's turn, so. Right. Uh, so the. Oh, you were trying to shoot from here, as the as the, the, the crossbowman. No, the crossbowman is after the yeah. dwarf. I was thinking, like the dwarf. If the monk moved, the dwarf. If he was might really have a good, shot. If he was really good, yeah. Uh, what about the crossbowman? If he moves up or onto the secret door. It's hard to tell with the way everything is. Um, let's see. Two, three. No, he still can't hit from there. All right. If he can uh, somehow the... stand here, he could do it, but there's a wall in the way. So, yeah, it's not going to work. Where do you want him to be? Oh. Uh... Or I guess he was here. He can back up into the hallway, I guess. And just cover both them doors. All right. Uh, yeah, get well soon, uh, Big Red. Take care of yourself. Good luck, good luck, good luck, he says. Yeah, if I could do folder within a folder and a toggle per user, that would that would be great. I use OBS, I don't use Streamlabs, so, I, and I kind of don't want to learn a whole new system just for that one feature, but maybe there's there's got to be a way someone's figured out to, to do it. Or I'll just have to be clever with my keystrokes. Maybe like two keys at once or something. I don't know if you can do that, macros. Okay, anyway, technical stuff. So, Monk is going to take a step back from the door and shoot at the uh, elven warrior. All right. Longbow? Yes. Three skulls. Wow. Not a chance. Got him. Okay. Yep. Bohemius, the mighty barbarian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, Roll for movement. Five. So I enter, go in the left side of uh, the swordsman. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, you could go to attach the wall and attack diagonally. Oh, you mean over here. Yep. Uh, p -p 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 no, I mean at the end of the room. Uh, oh. If I count it correctly, I can do one step uh, in front of the monk, one step inside, and then three step. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, diagonally adjacent to the... You want to be... Uh, well, okay, one. Okay, uh, let's start from the beginning. I'm sorry. <laughs> one. I'm sorry too. Okay. Okay. What? What it was? I was uh, uh, one there. One okay. inside. One, two. Okay. These two. He's in the room. One step on the left. Three. And two step north. 
four, five. Yep. It should be five. Uh, I put you every place but the place that you wanted. Okay. <laughs> Bonus potion. Right, let's cover that real quick. Potion of Alchemy. Turn a piece of equipment to 100 gold coins. Who wants that? The wizard. The wizard got... He of the golden daggers. <laughs> I got the daggers. Alright. Potion of Alchemy. Thank you. Whiskey, lemon, honey, good to go. Says Xerxes. Yeah, I think they recommend the alcohol for sanitizing, not necessarily for recovery, but I'm not a doctor. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, uh... Okay, you got three skulls. Three skulls. Wow. Okay. Okay, then. Ching. Two hits. Got him. He goes tumbling down the stairs. Good. Great. Well, you've done pretty well. I uh, think Ribby would be proud. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm great. All right, there's one more monster Good left. To tell Ribby the East Barbarian did a uh, uh, massacre. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, uh, the fiery zombie charges. One, two, and attacks the barbarian. He missed. All right, heroes. I thought you'd be out of here like an hour ago, but <laughs> the chat Search. had other ideas. Uh, the mystery. Yeah. I search you for uh, uh, secret doors. Okay, secret door with the wizard. Yes, Sargonian cult shall have its day. Yes, and every week they do it again. Okay, all right. So you search for secret doors. Let's see. The statue revolves around. reveal a hidden trap door okay that's what the search for secret doors revealed wait could they Kate can you show me the entire map please We didn't explore anything in the uh, upper right corner, right? Because it was close. Gee, it's big, this quest. Okay, your turn, uh, Jacer. I uh, will not move. Are there any leave? doors we haven't opened? Um, not the. Looks like, I don't think so. Looks like you've opened them all. All right. Uh, all movement. I move the dwarf four spaces north. I search this room for secret doors. Okay. Uh, no secret doors detected. All right. Uh, the crossbowmen. 
And I see him in relation to the zombie. Right, can I move the crossbowman next to the monk and shoot the zombie? Oh, I moved the doorway. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we could shoot him from here. All right, good. Take a shot. Taking the shot. One. Oh. Not only did he deflect it, he also ran over. Ah, and he speared you. Ah, spear. Spear. And he hobbles back. All right. Crosswoman's dead. Dead? Yep. Oh, he they did. They took, took two hits, and then he took a drank a potion of re restoration and restored one body point, so now he's dead. So I forgot to put the black skull underneath him. Oh. <laughs> All right. He survived a long time. He did. Didn't quite make it, though. Pour one right, out for the, the crossbowman. The monk takes, uh, I guess, one space step forward. Probably see the zombie anyway, but to do a clear shot, maybe. Uh, two. Wow. Okay, because that's with the the courage. Courage longbow. Courageous longbow. Yeah, should have been two black dice, but I mean. Oh, oh, I. That's all right. I've been just rolling straight six. I guess I didn't correct you. All right. Well, I mean, you 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 may have gotten him. Let's see. Uh. Oh wait. Okay. So. Um, it's it's just two skulls, yeah. Okay. Chance. Nope. Got him. Ugh. All right. And with that, he seems to uh, build up a little bit more uh, fire than before, and he explodes in all directions. Um, let's see. Sorry, barbarian. Every hit. Uh, every figure hit with one combat die for the monster's body points. Okay, so barbarian roll one combat die. The monster explodes in a cloud of jagged bones and teeth. I needed more grog. Yes. All right, Bohemius, roll one combat die there. He was one of those red barrels, I guess. And just think of the, uh, I think of the Lost Boys with the vampires. They all died different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So let's see. But you get to defend normally. So now you got to defend against that uh, one skull. So roll your normal one attack. Defense. Yeah. Roll your normal defense. There, Bohemius. And he got me. Wah, wah, wah. Now, how yeah. funny would it have been if you'd gotten the wrestling move? <laughs> you do like a backflip out of the way or something. <laughs> you grab, you grab the chunks, you form them temporarily back together, and suplex them <laughs> through a table. Uh, okay, so you took one damage. Uh, yeah, I'll take a push on a warmth. All right. To survive. Cross off a potion of warmth. All 
Uh, I don't have that you have warmth. You have restoration, which is one, or you have healing plus two. So the, I probably give the, uh, the yes, I, that was the the problem. I give the, um, that's why I was confused before with the, with, the, uh, with the potion. So yes, so I give the potion, so I use a restoration potion. Okay, so you came back with one. Do I have that one, right? Yep, yep. They are one body and one mind. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So he's fine. He wipes all the goo and sparks and flaming pieces off of himself. <laughs> like, what? Okay. That's the end of the monsters. Now you just gotta figure out what to do before you leave. Uh, I search the stair room for secret doors. Okay, but whose turn is it? It's the barbarian's turn. The monk shot the zombie and the zombie exploded. Yep. <laughs> no secret doors detected. Okay, my turn. Yes. All right, this is silly, but okay. No escape. Door suddenly slams shut. Can't be opened until my turn again. All right. Go ahead, heroes. Is there they searching for traps? Um, Become uh, all of a sudden a, a solo quest for the wizard. Okay, uh, no traps detected. Did they sneak in the solo quest for the wizard in this? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> In this expansion. I mean, could have been. okay. Could have been. So the um, well, dwarf. Well, now that there's no uh, traps in that room, you want to move closer to the trap door, maybe. It's the same. What I want to do is just uh, procedurally search for everything before I uh, search for treasure. So Makes I'm sense. completely alone. Okay. Uh... Gonna do the minutes who stare at goats and take a running leap at that at that wall again to see if you can pass through it. I'm just joking. I'm I'm not scared for that. I was scared to to uh, to find just walls, no rooms, and yeah, get stuck there and die. <laughs> yeah, got plenty of uh, pastoral rocks. Hopefully, they remembered to uh, take a look at that in against the ogre horde because there's a couple of spots like that unless they give you a way to either remove the rock or yeah get out yeah because trapped inside solid rock is just dead but trapped in a room that you just can't get out of is you're just stuck all right the dwarf's gonna move into the corridor and to the right uh, all the way down to the junction there. And he'll search the vertical hallway for secret doors. No secret doors detected. All right. Uh... This is when you're playing Doom late at night and you've you've killed all the monsters and you're just wandering around like hitting spacebar against every patch of wall like where is the door where is it 
Where's the key? Where's the secret that I missed? There's one thing I missed. And you spend hours and you don't find it. And then the next day you try it and you find it right away. And you're like, oh man. <laughs> it was there the whole time. Uh, the monk, I guess, with his abilities resetting, he'll just use uh, the stone one and search for traps and secret doors. Okay. All right. In the room he's in? Yep. Okay. I think it's already been done, but... No traps, no secret doors. All right. More grog. Okay. Barbarian. And Barbarian search for treasures. Okay. Hazard! <laughs> Don't leave your feet comes away. You lose one body point. And your turn Ouch. is over. Ouch. Indeed. Okay, my turn. Sargon. Five minute warning. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. I like it. Okay, hero's turn. Wizard. The wizard search for um, treasures. Okay. On that uh, finely crafted s statue, you uh, look a little closer and you see that the garment it's wearing is actually a real garment that you can take. Uh, do you want to take it? This, this is happening. This is happening like before. <laughs> the room is going to be full of monsters if I touch it. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. All right. Uh, it is the Cloak of Shadows artifact it was draped over the shoulders of the statue and let me see if i can find the card i had it here a second ago so we are getting down to the end of the wire here well cloak of shadows cloak of shadows Oh, not that one. It's too many amazing treasures to find. Well, basically what it lets you do is it lets you pass through rock and have the effect of Veil of Mist. So you can pass through monsters and walls in the same turn. And let me see if that was it. Did it have any other perks to it? see cloak of shadows that's strong yeah okay so he's a, one one time uh a dark is he one time or forever i mean once per quest yeah once per quest the dark man once per quest threaded with silk of the umbra as an action you may use the power of this cloak to become insubstantial on your next movement you move as though the spells past your rock and veil of mist have been cast upon you all right, so you take... As an action. Yep, so you take the Cloak of Shadows. What do you think, Jace? This one looks good on the, uh, on the monk. It, uh, it could, but it goes good with your dagger, so you can chase the... Uh, <laughs> chase down those... <laughs> to, uh, to chase the monster. Specter. Yeah, because it, it, it's an action. It's like, I'm thinking about the, like the monk when he's stuck in combat and need to get out from uh, a bad situation to, to recharge all the powers. Just thinking no, that. It, yeah, it's not a bad... Uh, I think it works for a lot of people, for a lot of the characters, but yeah, it could definitely work for the monk. Yeah, I was thinking uh, in our group, which character will uh, will fit better there beside him. Oh, it, it's cool. All right. Very but, cool. But the statue was a mimic. And it comes to life. I and... knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, got a movement of 10. 
attack of three, defense of four, body of one, mind of three. Does it attack now? No. So I'm um, rolling for movement. <laughs> Should have used a bonus search. I think they've used Nine. all the bonus searches up though. I I jump inside the uh the trap door. One, two, three, you're like ha ha Alright, and you find yourself in the worst place. <laughs> like uh, Ash at the end of Evil Dead 2. Spoilers. <laughs> he's like, no, he's in the Middle Ages. No. Oh, wait, I'm already here. Never mind. <laughs> the fake Middle Ages. All right. So you find yourself in this other room with this other statue. Oh, the poor wizard. What shall he do? Ah, a potion has been uncorked. Aha. Uh -huh. I love that sound effect. All right, potion of. He recall. works like. Uh, oh, it's for the elf. Let's draw another one. Frost skin for the barbarian. Uh, yeah. Okay. Frost skin for the barbarian. Thanks, Vorticon. So he's got two frost skins now. There was a there was a potion of recall for the wizard, but it's in the wizard uh, quest pack. That's why we didn't see it. I mean, easy enough to homebrew. Okay, so relatively speaking, there's where the wizard is now. Okay, and that ends okay. the turn. So back to the okay. Door. And it looks like you've got what you came for. All right. Uh, I really was expecting the ghost uh, going uh, faces right towards the, the twelve spaces towards the monk. Okay. All right. I'm gonna say yep. that door can be opened again okay all right the uh the monk will open a door and take one step inside all right. he had his foot in the door the whole time but he was too too humble to say anything okay all right, he steps inside so i'll use uh speak with stone and search that room for traps and secret doors all right no traps, no secret doors. All right, uh, that'll end my turn. Okay. Oh, here it is. Found the card. That's the Cloak of Shadows. And there's the Raven's Talon. So you found those two things. And, I mean, uh, assorted other treasures, too, of course. Past your rock scroll and so forth. Okay, so you didn't find anything. All right, Barbarian. The Barbarian moves. Rolling. nine in the direction of the wizard backtrack the dungeon three four five six seven eight nine yeah okay thank you all right i don't get to draw a card uh the mimic is going to jump down the trap door Pushing the wizard to the side. Ooh. All right. For uh, for a second, the uh, 
the mimic looks into the eyes of the other statue and is like, huh? and you see, you hear the like the the what is it the Valentine's Day music? <laughs> it's like and then it's like huh? and it looks back, turns back to hatred and anger towards the the wizard again. Okay. <laughs> Can't find the broken heart emoji, but just imagine that. <laughs> there it is. Okay. All right, heroes. Wizard. He's our cast swift wind. All right. And run. Double, <laughs> double your season four four dice to run. Yep. Excellent. Thirteen. That's it. Okay. All right. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Go fast. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, or 12, 13. Do that right. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. Yep. And what is it? I'm running. Keep the doors open. I'm coming. All right. The dwarf is going to walk to where the crosswoman died. And pick up that potion of magic resistance. Ah, okay. He picks it up. Red card for Zargon. What? How do you do this uh, ruling? Mm. I mean, it's like an hero. When he dies, if somebody's in the same room, he will pick it up. Oh. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I don't automatically assume that if he dies alone that it's just stolen by monsters. A monster would have to go into the room to get it. So it's just, it's up for grabs. Now if the whole Good. party dies... Good to know. I assume, didn't know that. Yeah, if the whole party dies, we assume, yeah, it's it's just, the stuff is taken by whoever came in later and got it. The janitor orc found it all. Put it in a bag. In the safe. <laughs> yeah, good thought though. Okay. Good question. Uh, chaos card. Okay. Somebody doesn't want you to win. Somebody wants you to run. Run away. Oh, see, now that would have helped me out earlier, but. It's the brakes. All right, the monk is going to go uh, eight spaces towards the barbarian there, uh, maybe to the right of the barbarian. He'll stand right there. Okay. All right. That's pretty much it. I'll pull out the longbow and hang out. Yep. Barbadian uh, doesn't move. Stay there. Okay. Monsters. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> It's fast. Yep. All right, wizard. Tempest on the mimic. <laughs> okay. All right, the monster is comically spinning around. Tempest is used. And I'm most seven. All right. In the direction of the rest of the group. 
Yes. Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we are at the exit. We, we, I don't need to go to the uh, to the bench because we can craft uh, outside of the dungeon unless unless we cannot stop. Do we have this information? I think can we even, uh, even if you can't visit shops, you still get to craft them. Okay, perfect. Yep. Go, Jacer. Everybody else is trying to get some sleep, and he's there tinkering, tinkering around with his little uh, pile of tools. Oh, I figured out another one. Is it quitting time? Yeah, it's it's. Uh, this should be the final round. I mean, if you guys are gonna go for it. Okay, Jason. I'm going out. Uh, I'm yes. <laughs> I think you pretty much looted as much as you could possibly can. I'm running for my life with my last body point. No. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I moved the dwarf six spaces so that he's next to the monk. No I hand the monk uh, the sacred plant and the un unidentified ingredient. And then I move three spaces towards the stairs. Okay. All right, monk's turn. So the monk has all the reagents now. All right, the monk got an 11. Um, where's that mimic at exactly? Right there. Right there. Eight, nine. All right, he's going to move 10 spaces to that doorway. And on the way, he's going to pass those two ingredients to the wizard. And then he's going to shoot through the door at the mimic. It's against uh, Jay's religion. Leave a monster alive inside the dungeon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I must release you. Yeah. Uh, two. We did, Wardicon. I... I'm pretty sure we used all of them. Yep. Two skulls. Okay. And it defends with four. Ching. No damage. Not sure if they carry over. Yeah, I I carry them over, Wardicon. All right. Uh, barbarian. <laughs> Barbarian, a roll for both pants. Okay, roll. Six, uh, going back toward the, uh, the stairs to the exit. All right, so you're giving all kinds of high fives as you as you pass by the other heroes? Yeah. Right there? No, this is the Barbarian. We're, we're oh. moving the Barbarian right oh. now. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he still gets a high five, though. He's going yeah. High. Yeah, Dwarf definitely gives him a high five. We're out of here, buddy. <laughs> yep. Okay, my turn. One, two. All right. The monster is blocked by Tempest. Oh, shoot. You're right. <laughs> yep this is his turn he was so eager okay all right hero heroes now it's the wizard's turn before i lose the plot completely nine the wizard used the cloak ah but <laughs> uh, one uh, square. Where'd he go? North. <laughs> Three squares. Left. 
to square north. And we are one, two, three, four, five, six until now. Yes. Uh, to square to the left. Hello. Uh, one square to the north. All right. He gives the dwarf a high five, but the dwarf didn't see him. So he's just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Slap my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Which ingredient did you give me before? Sorry, I was far away from the from the sheet. I gave you the sacred plant and the unidentified ingredient. Pockets are stuffed. Okay. Your turn, my Alright, the uh the worst. Uh, five to the stairs. All right. Tally ho. And is he exiting the quest? Yes. All right. Congratulations. You've completed the quest. All right. The uh, monk shoots two more. The swirling. Oh, he's not swirling anymore. Huh? And hit. Ah, crumbles. All right. No monsters on the board. He moves 12 spaces towards the stairs. All right. <laughs> All right, he's on his way. All right, uh, Barbarian. Yeah, yeah, out of the uh, the quest. Congratulations, Barbarian's out of there. Monsters? No monsters. No monsters. The wizard do the same, unless you want to use all your cards right now <laughs> you know i could use this card but it's basically it would just make you guys lose turns i i think it's silly at this point i'm gonna just sargon was uh it's gonna cut his losses for now so <laughs> you guys fought well okay uh who's who's next wizard yeah wizard go, go out one two three congratulations dun, 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 dun. And all that remains is the monk. The, the monk runs out. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's like, <laughs> they all look back and like, what are you doing? He's like, I don't want to go. And he just closes his eyes. Like, no. <laughs> the thing collapses without him. No. No, just kidding. That was just a dreamy head. So, yeah, he's out of there. All right. You guys get a, another reputation token. Congratulations. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five, five. We should have five now. Again. All right, and we are past our time. Thanks for playing. If you want, I can give you a preview of next time because it's going to be two weeks before we get back into this one again. And it does say you can shop, but frankly, I don't really feel like sitting here for another 15 minutes. I know that's part of the fun, but Maybe just think about what you want to buy for next time. Is that cool? All right. Okay. So for next time, Quest 7, Elven Temple of the Moon. The Temple of the Moon is in shambles. It is unclear who or what caused this desecration. Myriad ransacked shrines and crumbling statues reek of arsonist smoke. The structures that once proudly represented Elven culture and knowledge are in ruins and foul dread magic lingers within the temple. <laughs> Heroes, you must collect as many lunar charms as you are able and abscond before Zargon's horde arrives. Zargon's horde, he says. Okay, this next quest looks like they're going to be pulling out all the stops, so you'll probably need all the help you can get. Fubar says, I could send a monster, but you've done well. All right.
Okay, well, thanks for playing, guys. Good game and a good Thank night. Thank you. And we can we can Thank as, you. as usual we can yeah no problem as usual we can see uh, if there's someone we can raid at this this hour. Yeah, I held off that ad as long as I could. Yeah, we could check uh, if somebody's playing uh, Hero Quest like last ah, week. Ah, Carnesthesia is playing Hero Quest. Mm -hmm. Let's go for it. Let's go. Do it. Gotta encourage that community. Carnesthesia. All right, good game. Good Do it. Game. What are you waiting for? Come on.